Hello, this is Adrian Ramsey with Green Party News. As we get closer to polling day, the Green Party's election campaign here in Eastern Region is gathering momentum. There are two elections on Thursday the 4th of June, one for the European Parliament and the other for county councils. In the European election, Norwich Green Councillor Rupert Reid is making a strong bid to become one of our Euro MPs for Eastern England. It's a proportional representation election and he needs around 10% of the vote across the region to win. If you elect me on June the 4th, you'll be sending someone to join a strong group of Green Party MEPs in the European Parliament. 43 in this Parliament, hopefully more in the next. That will make it possible for us to take the kinds of steps that we need to take at this time. For example, protecting public services against further privatisation and putting our investment into a million new green jobs. I mean jobs in things like public transport, renewable energy, energy efficiency and local agriculture. That's what's needed in the 21st century. Rupert's campaign has recently gained support from two former directors of Friends of the Earth. The Green Party's moment appears to have arrived in, in politics in this country right now and it really would be wonderful if we could get some candidates elected to the European Parliament beyond the two that we've had there for, for the last two terms. And in the Eastern region it does look like we can do this. We have an excellent candidate who is very likely to be elected if people turn out and they vote Green. It's as simple as that. If the other parties had really caught up and really begun to put green politics at their heart, then maybe the case for voting green wouldn't be so strong. But in all honesty, they're not quite there yet. They haven't got to the point where you can say that these issues will best be resolved through mainstream party politics. We're just not at that point. The UK Green Party already holds two seats in the European Parliament from London and the South East. And there are green MEPs from many other countries as well. Elected Greens in the European Parliament have been making a real difference in pressing for fairer trade rules, for measures to improve animal welfare and for international action to tackle climate change and to regulate the banking sector. I think if you look back over the last few years and you see what the Green Party's two members of the European Parliament have been able to do, which is to inject real energy into the European Parliament itself, bring back some very important ideas to the body politic here in the UK. It's perfectly clear that we don't want two, we want ten MEPs from the UK, because that's the best way to get green voices heard in the political system. Also on the 4th of June are elections to county councils. In Norfolk, the Green Party already holds two county council seats and has a strong chance of gaining several more this time. Last year's City Council elections in Norwich saw the Greens win in five local wards and finish second in a further two, suggesting that a large group of Green County Councillors could be elected this year. The response on the doorstep has been really positive. The residents know that the Green Party are the second largest party on Norwich City Council and that we can get more Green Councillors elected in the county elections. I've been working with local residents on a variety of issues such as pushing for cycle links and pedestrian links from Norwich City Centre to Whitlingham Country Park and on looking at the root causes of antisocial behaviour here in Norwich. I think it's an exciting time to get more Green Councillors elected on the 4th of June because it gives us an opportunity to push the council in a new direction, in the right direction, on a wide variety of issues.